Chlormethine, Wikipedia article audio. Chlormethine, also known as mechlorethamine, mustine, HN2, and imbichin, is a nitrogen mustard sold under the brand name Mustargin. It is the prototype of alkylating agents, a group of anti-cancer chemotherapeutic drugs. It works by binding to DNA, cross-linking two strands and preventing cell duplication. It binds to the N7 nitrogen on the DNA base guanine. As the chemical is a blister agent, its use is strongly restricted within the Chemical Weapons Convention where it is classified as a Schedule I substance. Uses Side Effects and Toxicity History Chemistry Mechlorethamine belongs to the group of nitrogen mustard alkylating agents. It has been derivatized into the estrogen analog estramostine phosphate, used to treat prostate cancer. It can also be used in chemical warfare where it has the codename HN2. This chemical is a form of nitrogen mustard gas and a powerful vesicant. Historically, some uses of mechlorethamine have included lymphoid malignancies such as Hodgkin's disease, lymphosarcoma, chronic myelocytic leukemia, polycythemia vera, and bronchogenic carcinoma. Mechlorethamine is often administered intravenously, but when compounded into a topical formulation it can also be used to treat skin diseases. There have been studies demonstrating that topical administration of mechlorethamine has efficacy in mycosis fungoides type cutaneous T-cell lymphoma. Another important use of chlormethine is in the synthesis of meperidine. Mechlorethamine is a highly toxic medication, especially for women who are pregnant, breastfeeding, or of childbearing age. At high enough levels, exposure can be fatal. The adverse effects of mechlorethamine depend on the formulation. When used in chemical warfare, it can cause immunosuppression and damage to mucous membranes of the eyes, skin, and respiratory tract. Mucous membranes and damp or damaged skin are more affected by exposure to HN2. Though symptoms of exposure are generally delayed, the DNA damage it causes occurs very quickly. More serious exposures cause symptoms to develop sooner. Eye symptoms develop first, in the first 1-2 hours or 3-12 hours followed by airway and skin symptoms. Hot, humid weather shortens the latent period. Symptoms of toxic exposure to HN2 vary based on the route of exposure. Eye exposure causes lacrimation, burning, irritation, itching, a feeling of grittiness or dryness, blepharospasm, and meiosis. More severe cases cause edema in the eyelids, photophobia, severe pain, corneal ulceration, and blindness. Inhalation of chlormethine damages the upper and lower airways sequentially with more severe exposures causing faster damage that afflicts lower parts of the respiratory tract. Early symptoms include rhinorrhea, epistaxis, toneless voice, sneezing, barking cough, and dyspnea. Later symptoms include pain in the nose-slash-sinuses and inflammation of the airway. In severe cases, there may be epithelial necrosis throughout the respiratory tract, causing pseudomembrane formation, which can obstruct the airway. Pneumonia may develop and prove fatal. Skin exposure mainly causes erythema and vesication at first, but absorption through the skin causes systemic toxicity. In cases where more than 25% of the skin is affected, fatal exposure is likely to have occurred. Though ingestion is uncommon, if mechlorethamine is swallowed it causes severe chemical burns to the gastrointestinal tract and concomitant nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, 
abdominal pain, and hemorrhage. Long-term effects of acute or chronic chlormethine exposure are caused by damage to the immune system. White blood cell counts drop, increasing the risk of infection, and red blood cell and platelet counts may also drop due to bone marrow damage. Chronic eye infections may result from exposure, but blindness is temporary. Long-term effects on the respiratory system include anosmia, agusia, inflammation, chronic infections, fibrosis, and cancer. Skin that has been damaged by HN2 can change pigmentation or become scarred, and may eventually develop cancer. Successful clinical use of chlormethine resulted in development of the field of anti-cancer chemotherapy, led by Cornelius P. Rhodes at Memorial Sloan Kettering. The drug is a nitrogen-based analog of mustard gas and was derived from chemical warfare research. Secret clinical trials of the agent for Hodgkin's disease and several other lymphomas and leukemias in humans began in December 1942. Because of wartime secrecy restrictions, it was not until 1946 that the results of these trials were published openly. Chlormethine is combustible and under extreme conditions becomes explosive. It can react with metals to form gaseous hydrogen.